Hello, today we are going to simulate and explore the various regimes of wave scattering. The phenomena of scattering is how a wave behaves when it interacts with an obstacle in its path. We all have experienced scattering in some form. For example, even though we are not able to see someone who is not in a direct line of sight, we may, we may be able to hear them. This is because the wavelength of sound waves is much greater than the wavelength of light and hence sound is able to bend around obstacles. So we are going to simulate the wave scattering using MEEP software. We have defined an 18 by 18 grid in which we place a point source of fixed frequency 0.5. For our simulations, we consider speed of light to be 1 and hence our wavelength is 2. We place an obstacle made of metal a few wavelengths away from the source and vary the length of this obstacle from 0.5 to 6, keeping its thickness constant. Here is the MEEP code that we use to run our simulations. First, we set our speed the geometry of our space. We define an 18 by 18 grid. Since we are considering only a two-dimensional space, our z-dimension has no size. Then we place our obstacle block in this space, centered at 2.5,0. We define the size and the material of the object for our simulation. Now we place our point source centered at minus 3,0 with a fixed frequency of 0. Since our space is not infinite, we would like to terminate the wave at the boundary and hence we use perfectly matched layers or PML which absorb the incident wave. After setting the resolution for our simulation, we run the simulation for 100 seconds and output the EZ field component at the gap of 0.2 seconds. When the wavelength of the incident wave is much greater than the obstacle size, it is the regime of Rayleigh scattering. In this regime, we can clearly see that the scattered wave from the obstacle is equal in all the directions due to very small size. Most of the wave is able to pass through the obstacle without being affected much. This phenomenon is responsible for the blue color in the sky we observe. When the wavelength of the incident wave is comparable to the obstacle size, it is the regime of knee scattering. The amount of wave reflected from the obstacle is significant and the overall wave structure experiences some distortions. The fraction of wave that bends around the obstacle has reduced. This phenomenon is responsible for the white color of the clouds in which water molecules have a size that is comparable to the wavelength of the incident light. Finally, when the object size is much greater than the wa wavelength, most of the light gets deflected back, so the amount of light that bends around the object is significantly less. So here, we can clearly see the three regimes of scattering working together. In the case of small object size, the wave passes through the object without getting affected much. In the case of comparable object size, only part of the wave bends around the object. For a very large object, object, most of the wave is reflected back which interacts with the source wave to form almost a standing wave pattern. Scattering is a very important phenomena and it has many interesting effects. Like for example, have you ever wondered why the moon appears red during a lunar eclipse? The moon has no light of its own and it is completely behind the earth's shadow during an eclipse. Then why does it appear red when it should totally appear black? What happens is, when the light from the sun passes through the earth's atmosphere, the blue part of the light gets scattered while the red path travels through the atmosphere, bends around it, and then falls on the moon. This is why the moon appears red. Also, the shade of red can change depending upon the condition of atmosphere of the earth at that time. For example, the water content or the humidity. Scattering is also important while considering the design of a stealth plane. In the case of a stealth plane, it needs to prevent the radar signal from being scattered by it and it needs to reflect it in a direction that is away from the receiving radar.